first have to realize that herpes is a viral infection. Um, it is un usually manifested by uh, eruptions of blisters at the skin level in the patient, but it's actually a viral infection that lives inside your nerves. The person who has herpes will most of the time have the outbreak of blisters, which is preceded by pain and itching at the site, um, at the area in which the nerve that has the virus as a host innervates the skin or causes sensation and feeling at the skin. Most patients will have this sensation of burning and pain prior to the eruption of the blisters or active skin lesion. These outbreaks are usually self-limited. The virus, for whatever reason, then migrates back to the spinal cord where it lives in a spinal ganglion outside the spinal cord and until other trauma or stress that stimulates it to migrate out to the skin area occurs, it sits there dormantly. Some people can have outbreaks once every several years, some can have them every few months. Um, those that have them more frequently need to be on suppressive therapy to keep the virus back in the spinal ganglia where it sits dormantly and to avoid outbreaks.